This is the mouth. Good morning. This is the mouth, and I'm coming to you today about a hair product uh, that I bought uh, some months ago. I was just trying it, you know, no other reason than just to try it. Sometimes I'll be in the store and I'll be like, oh, maybe I could try that, see what it does. Um, you know, not necessarily using getting it because I actually want to see, I want what it's supposed to do, just seeing if it does what it says it does. That's it. Um, so I was in Walmart and I saw this Simply Straight Brush. And I said, and on the box, of course, you see the, the people of uh, different skin colors. Uh, they only put women on there, but, you know, men can use it too. I mean, men have curly hair as well. Men have, uh, yeah, men have curly, males, because not just men, males have curly hair just as well as females. Um, so anyone with curly hair can uh, straighten, who want their hair straightened can use this brush. Now, this video is not about whether or not it works. Now, it does straighten your hair. Now, does it straighten it bone straight? No, it doesn't, but um, it does straighten your hair. Uh, now, why did I take it back? That's what this video really is all about. The number one reason I took it back uh, is going along uh, the concept of a, is that a brush is a brush is a brush, whether it's an electronic brush or a brush that's a regular brush. Um, regular brushes, well, as we know, uh, they take out hair. That's just what it is. You can't brush your hair and not expect to see any of your hair in that brush. So keeping that in mind, an electronic brush is no different um, in that regard. It will take out your hair. And not only that, being that it is a heated brush, it will burn it off as well. So if you've got any knots, any tangles at all in your hair, it will burn it off. It will get stuck and snagged on, on the teeth of, of the brush and it will get burnt off. Uh, so... Just something to keep in mind. Um, that's the number one reason why I took it back because it burned off my hair. Um, <clears throat> now, I did apply. Uh, well, I had a family member uh, use it because she was just, you know, also curious what it would do, right? So uh, she used. She told me to get heat protector serum um, before I came home. So I got that, and. Um, and then uh, when I got home, I ended up going over to her place and she, uh, you know, we made a video and I'll probably post that at some point. I'm not sure if anyone wants to watch it, then, you know, it's a full video of using the actual product so you can see for yourself. And uh, so if you're interested, just, you know, uh, put a comment below that way I'm, I'm not uploading a video that you may not want to see or anything. So uh, if you're interested in seeing that video, just uh, put in the comments below and I'll eventually um uh, you know, put that, that video up. Um, but as of now, I might include a picture of the before and after shots. Um, I gotta go digging for those photos. Um, but right now I'm just going to show, tell you why I got, why I took the product back. Um, I would not use that product on my hair ever again. Um, even, like I said, even using heat protector serum, uh, did not really work to stop it from burning off your hair. If you got it not, it's just going to burn it off. Okay. So, um, Pull it, pull it out, since it's a brush, the brush pulls out hair, and it will burn off any anything that's, you know, knots, tangles. So um, this is just my experience with the product. Now, um, there was something else I wanted to say, and I just kind of forgot what it was. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I really forgot. There was actually something else I wanted to say. I really just forgot so oh oh they're hard to clean <laughs> wow okay it's too early in the morning so they're hard to clean um as you know with just any old brush you know they're it's got your hair in it. it it takes a process to clean them um so keep that in mind uh with a heated brush and if you use any serum it's going to make it even more difficult to use uh, uh to i'm sorry to clean um, you can't ju you can't submerge these uh, the heated brush into water like you can a regular brush, uh, so that makes it more of a hassle to clean than a regular brush. Um, as a matter of fact, the instructions tell you to not submerge it in water, and obviously, it, and that's regardless if it's plugged in. Obviously, if it's plugged in, you don't want to do that anyway. But if it's not plugged in, they still the directions still tell you to not submerge it in water. 
So you're so basically, I had to pick that thing <laughs> clean, and like I said, it's a hassle. It's, it wasn't worth it to me. Uh, it did straighten the hair, like I said, it wasn't bone straight. Um, my sister has uh, done my hair, I straightened my hair before in the past, um, using a blow dryer uh, with a comb extension, and um, that was a heck of a lot more effective and didn't go burning off anything uh, than. Uh, this brush. So between the between a blow dryer with a comb extension and this brush, I would most certainly, if I were to ever straighten my hair again, that would most certainly be the brush. Oh, not the brush. Oh my gosh. Uh, the comb, the blow dryer with the comb extension, um, would definitely be what I would go with again. Um, that's just my from personal experience, and it's a lot a lot easier to clean, obviously. So, um, it doesn't go pulling out your hair like brushes do. So, um, that's what I would do. Anyway, so that's it. All I wanted to share. Um, and have a good day. Uh, like, it's too early in the morning. I'm kind of stumbling on my words. So, I'm going to go for now. <laughs> but you have a wonderful day. All right, this has been The Mouth. Bye. This is the mouth coming at you from atx doing it like i do it here make sure you subscribe now thumbs up a video if it makes you happy and i appreciate all of my wonderful subscribers <laughs>